morning, YouTube gamers. Bonfire here, and welcome to another long overdue episode of What's This Game, where we highlight a new game, play it, and try to figure out what it's all about. Today, we are playing Titan Souls, and this is the indie title that came out well, almost a year ago. It was April of 2015, and it is a open world, top down action adventure game. And it's a game that I was really excited to play when it came out. I just never got around to actually playing it until recently. And I'm very excited to be sharing it with you guys. Now, the best way I can describe this game is that it is a miniature Dark Souls light game. And it's like Dark Souls in the sense that it's very challenging, it's difficult. You literally steal souls from bosses that you defeat. And when you die, you're going to respawn at the nearest checkpoint, similar to the bonfires in Dark Souls. And let me tell you, you're going to die a lot in this game. It's very easy to die. And one of the things that I think makes this game so great is that it's simple. It's a very simple game. The mechanics are very simple. There's only a couple buttons that you use on the controller, yet it's very challenging and very fun. So we're going to dive into some gameplay here. I'm going to try to take down one of the first bosses inside of the game so we can see what this game is all about. So here we are at the main menu. And as you can see here, uh, this is a single player only game. You just play through the main story. And the game is designed to be replayed over and over again because there are many things to be discovered. And it's meant for speed running. And it's also meant to see how many times you can... Or, how you can get through the game with the least amount of deaths because it does track your deaths. So you can see here when I first played this game, uh, I took down 13 bosses and I died 158 times and it took me two hours to do so. Uh, that's a lot of deaths. I got stuck on a couple bosses. So we're going to fire up a new game here, just straight up new and go from the beginning. This not really much of a story here. There's a little bit. Uh, it's very light. But the thing about this game is it's very... Ominous is the best. I think that's the best word I can describe for it. But you just they kind of just drop you into this world and you, you go. Another thing about this game is that it is all boss battles, 100% boss battles. There are no little enemies or minions to fight. You just fight bosses. That's the only encounters you have in this game. It makes it unique. Another thing, I talked about this game being simple, and you can see here it's teaching me the mechanics of the game. So I press X to fire and I have my arrow. And I hold X to retrieve that arrow back. And you only have one arrow. One arrow to take down the bosses. So that's it. That's what makes this game so great. And they can, you can roll, you can hold it to run. And that, that's it. Those are the only controls in this game. And the, these little pads right here, these are like your checkpoints. And you have to defeat a certain amount of bosses before you can proceed through the game. So through each of these doors at the beginning of the game, you've probably seen this through the trailers if you watch them, is a boss. And that's it. Once you get past this area, the game totally opens up and you can go wherever you want and I think you have to take down a certain number of bosses before you can proceed to the final area in the game but there's so many different areas to explore there's different biomes to explore as well and the game doesn't tell you how to do anything besides what you just saw in the intro you just told to just go and you take down bosses the variety of bosses in this game are really cool really unique and uh, they're really fun another thing about this game is is you get hit once, you're dead. So boss battles can be very, very quick. And you're meant to kind of learn the moves and learn how to, to defeat the bosses because each of the bosses are also one hit. So it's a really unique mechanic. It's so simple, but it also makes the game so difficult. So we're going to try to take down this boss here. See if we can do it. And it, it should be interesting. It should be very interesting. Here we go. So I think I gotta sh once see once you the boss won't attack you until you start shooting it. Kind of Dark Souls disc. So here we go. So I have to get this heart. Ah shoot. 
Jeez, that didn't work out so well. Let me get that. Wow. There we go. Oh, whoa! See? I died. Just like that, I died. And that's what happened. So that, that so there you go, that's the Dark Souls element. I respawn right here, I'm dead, and we gotta go again. That was a really bad attempt, by the way. That was a really bad attempt. Uh, let's see if we can we can do this here. So, I just gotta tie my arrows right. See, that wasn't that wasn't it. So I want to avoid that one. I want to go for this one with the heart, right like that. See, because they're gonna get smaller and smaller. And I want to get this one with the heart. Get that. I think we almost got him. Yeah, see now that now it's open. I just gotta get this heart once. Ah shoot. And so when you capture your arrow, there it is. Boom! And just like that, you beat the boss. Pull your arrow out, and this is where you collect the souls of the bosses. And that's the main point of the game, is you gotta collect the souls from these bosses to get to the finale. And boom, one boss down. And that's it. You don't get any more abilities, which is kind of weird. I thought that was weird as I was playing through the game because I expected to get new abilities. Uh, and, you know, have almost a Metroidvania type game where I needed new abilities to kind of go explore areas. No, you're left to just go wherever the heck you want. All the bosses can be taken down with one arrow, one shot. You, it's up to you to decide to figure out where their vulnerability is and how to get it for each boss. And there's a huge variety of different bosses and they definitely get more challenging and faster as you progress through the game. So it, it's really unique, it's really cool, and that is the concept of Titan Souls. This is such a fun game. I love the art style too. Yes, it is pixel art, but it's very well done. Some of the environments are really cool. It's got a great soundtrack, the music is nice, it adds some intensity, and it's a challenging game. I love it. Love it a lot. Had a, had a blast playing it. And I definitely want to play through it again to try to do more of the bosses. Because like I said, I only did 13 of them. And I know there's tons more because there's an area that I went to but didn't fight any bosses. Um, and ended up just making my way towards the end of the game. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so it's, it's, it's really cool. I definitely would recommend this game. If you like a challenge and you like those open world games. It's, like I said, it's not a long game. I beat the game in two hours. I think on average it's three to four hours if you're doing more of the bosses. So it's definitely uh, worth a playthrough. So there you guys have it. That is Titan Souls. The game is out for PC, PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation Vita. I think it's a great title to uh, play on the Vita. I played on the PC version. I recommend playing with a controller if you do. Uh, I imagine it's super hard with keyboard and mouse. However you do that. But let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm Bonfire, and I will see you online. Yeah, yeah, now come up, now come up. It's 80 you now if you whip it, put your hands up. On the fly, ladies, set a front, go ahead and stand up.